CleanShot X is one of my favorite apps on the Mac, and it's one that I didn't start using until last year. I was totally blown away by it. I made a video about why it was so great, and I still stand by it. I think it's an incredible app, and it's gonna be what I keep using for taking screenshots and marking them up on my Mac. But there is one issue with CleanShot X for a lot of people, and it's the price. To get a license for CleanShot X on your Mac, it's $29, and that is just too much for a lot of people who just need simple screenshots, and macOS's built-in feature is pretty darn good on its own, so that's all they need. But if you want to get a little bit more functionality without paying a cent, <laughs> today's app might have you covered. The app is called Shotter, and it's basically a CleanShot X Lite <laughs> for zero cost, and it's pretty decent. It might work for you. Um, it's not going to replace CleanShot X for me, but it might be a good option for those of you who want some more functionality, but don't want to pay anything at all. So let's check it out. Okay, so the easiest way to show this off, I think, is just to use it. So I've got it pulled up here in my menu bar, but you can do all this through keyboard shortcuts if you'd like. Um, basically, the usual suspects are here. We can capture the entire display. That works great. Uh, we can go ahead and capture an area of the screen. So I could capture just like this if I wanted. And there we go. Um, I can also do, if you're doing capture area, you can also hit the space bar and select a specific window, just like the other apps that do this. Um, so that's nice. And it puts the background behind there and everything. Um, you can do that. Uh, we also have two more. There's a scrolling capture. So if I grab this section, it's going to try to scroll this area and I'm not doing anything. It's just doing it on its own. It's going to scroll until it runs out of anything to scroll and then it will give you a big screenshot with all of that. So you can kind of see this and it is, um, yeah, just a very high res image and everything looks really nice. Um, and then there's also one more feature uh, that I'll show off here. There's recognize text. Uh, so if I want to like get this hex code from here, um, I can go ahead and copy it because this isn't a like text I can copy. Um, normally I can go ahead and do that. And if I look at my clipboard, I can see, Hey, there it is. Uh, that is the exact code that I got from there. Works great. Um, so that all is all pretty basic what you'd expect from a screenshot tool and it works nicely. Now let's go into an actual screenshot that I want to take. So let's go ahead and capture just the things window. And if I kind of make this larger and zoom in, there we go. Um, you've got some basic editing tools. Uh, so first things first, I can go ahead and select an area and then I can crop it down to that. Um, I don't want to do that, so let me undo. Um, but I can also use this uh, auto adjust tool, which is kind of cool. So it's going to try to select exactly what I wanted and no um, other stuff. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I can crop to that then. I can recognize the text from here. It'll copy whatever's in here to my clipboard. Um, but I actually don't want to do that. So let's actually just get out of there. Uh, the markup tools are pretty nice. Um, I can hit an arrow to there. I can change the color. There's eight colors built in and I can make the arrow thicker or narrower if I want. And there's a couple style of image or styles of arrows that I can use. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of that one. Um, there's text, so I can do hello uh, right here. And not only that, there's this little thing I can pull out to poke at um, another whatever this is talking about. And it just intelligently kind of moves around um, the thing so I can just have that. And it's very clear that that hello is about the thing's three shorts. Um, so there's that. And then there's just shapes. I can draw like a rectangle around this. Um, all that works kind of how you'd think. And then maybe I want to mask out this home project, I can use the blur tool to blur it out. And not only can I blur it, I can increase the blur or decrease it to whatever I want. I can also just erase it and it will take whatever's behind here and erase it. So I can do that for like, let's say I want to get rid of all these projects. Instead of blurring it, just erase it from the screenshot. And there we go. So that's some of the basic tools. And then you can copy it to the clipboard, you can save it to your desktop. Um, or you can upload it. And I actually haven't set this up. You need to get a token by emailing them. Haven't done this, but copying it to your clipboard, saving it to your computer, all works great. Now, one of the other things that's kind of cool here is um, you can see as I move my mouse around the image up here, there's the current color. And so I can go ahead and just hit tab at any point and copy that color to the clipboard. Now, one of the weird things is this actually, the app thinks that I'm done with the image at that point. So if I hit tab now, it actually closes the image and does not save it, does not copy to my clipboard. And if I go to my clipboard, I can see, okay, it did copy the color, but I lost the image. So that's kind of an annoying implementation, but it is what it is. So that's kind of the app. Um, let me go into the preferences to kind of show you what you can configure. Uh, so there's not a ton here, but there are some things you can see the window screenshot background. It defaults to the wallpaper, but you can make it transparent. You can make it a solid color, or you can just get rid of the shadow entirely. Um, I kind of like having the wallpaper back there. It looks nice. 
Um, some people may like the solid color, especially if you're taking like uh, screenshots for corporate stuff where you wanted things to be consistent and not super exciting like your wallpaper might be. Um, but yeah, you can kind of pick which one you want um, here. You can choose where to save your screenshots. You can choose what format to use. Um, you can resize them down to one X. I wouldn't recommend that because they're going to look worse. Um, and there's just some stuff here. You can set up all your hotkeys right here, and then you can do some just advanced stuff here. So there's not tons of controls here. Um, it's definitely not as robust as uh, CleanShot X, but it's free and it definitely has some more stuff that the default screenshot tool in macOS doesn't have. So you can check it out, link in the description, not a sponsor or anything, and it's totally free. So what would I be sponsoring? <laughs> but that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.